Hi, my name is Min, and today I would like to talk about V-beam or pulse dye, dye laser or IPL uh, to get rid of redness from my face. And uh, I'm not going to talk about all the details about what it does, how it works and so on. I'm sure you can Google it. However, I wanted to share my experience about how it felt, what's the process and that sort of thing. So, um, so I used a Caridis. Uh, it's, um, it's a practice um, in uh, St. John's Wood in London. And um, yeah, the, the lady who did the, performed the procedure was quite nice. And she said that I need um, three to six sessions to get rid of the redness of my face, sorry, of my nose and my um, this area somewhere, because that's where I get the most redness. Everywhere else, my face is fine. Um, and I think I got rosacea because my nose gets very red if I do some exercise, if I do basically, um, I don't know, have some alcohol or something like that, or get cold. So I think it's rosacea. My nose gets really red sometimes and I absolutely hate it. So I thought, you know what, uh, I need to get rid of it, <laughs> of that redness. And, uh, and that's how I ended up, you know, going for a V-beam session. So I've only had one V-beam session. Uh, and um, yes, I'll tell you how it felt uh, and, um, and what happened during the session. So uh, first of all, the session cost me 120 pounds uh, for the mentioned areas, that is here and the nose. Uh, and uh, the treatment itself took about 10-15 minutes maybe. And it felt like... Um, the best description would be like the lightning landed on my face. <laughs> it's, the good thing is that it's not a continuous thing. It's not continuous pain, but it's um, just like in the, um, uh, pulses, like bzz, bzz, bzz. so. So it's not too bad, uh, but it felt like you know an electric shock and a lot of light. Uh, although I was wearing goggles on my eyes that. Um, that are very good, um, almost black out the light, uh, but I could still feel, uh, I could still see plenty of light and uh, and um, I could feel uh, the electric shock basically going through my face. So, but as, as I say, it's all bearable, it's not the end of the world, it's not terrible and it only lasts, you know, 10, 15 minutes, so it's not too bad. So, um, so that's what, that's about the pain during the procedure. Uh, however, what happens after the procedure? Okay, uh, so I was told that my face would feel a bit um, like sunburned, um, so I may need to use some cooling packs or something like that to make myself feel better. However, to be honest, I had zero discomfort. So from, from the pain perspective, from the way it felt, I felt absolutely normal. So it's amazing. Um, unfortunately, I didn't look quite as normal, so if anyone ever says to you it's a you know, you can go at lunchtime, you know, and go back to work and, you know, you'll be fine, you know. Like, yes, emotionally, well, emotionally, I mean, uh, physically you will be able to work, but you will look like an idiot <laughs> because my face um, looked like a map. Uh, so basically where the uh, laser went, it's like in those areas. So you could see like a demarcation line and uh, the area where the laser was, um, was all raised and... Um, and swollen and uh, because it went and un under the eyes a bit as well so this under the eyes area was really swollen as well and i looked pretty bad i would say <laughs> really bad next day i looked even worse so so yeah you certainly don't want to plan anything for the next few days i would say three days maybe you know on the fourth day i looked normal pretty much normal uh, third day i looked almost normal but not not fully normal, I could still see a little bit of swelling. So, uh, but the first two days after the procedure, you absolutely don't want to plan anything. So, you know, do it on Friday evening, for example, you know, like, or even if it's at lunchtime, you know, but take the rest of the day off and, um, and basically have a chilled out, you know, weekend, you know, watching telly or something. Um, uh, which unfortunately wasn't the case with me because my husband invited uh, his friends around on a Friday night. <laughs> that is straight after the procedure and I absolutely hated it because everyone could see my swollen face and I looked shocking. 
and everyone said like oh no you look fine it's absolutely fine so so yeah it wasn't great but uh, <laughs> but I had to deal with it uh, so um, what happened next um, so my face um, uh, recovered very quickly I had no discomfort whatsoever uh, from that p physical pain perspective uh, but um, about two three weeks later I got a red patch on one of my on, on one side and I think that's from a little bit uh, too strong um, setting used during the treatment so you can see the, the picture and uh, to be honest um, just two days ago I got another two little patches one tiny patch here uh, which is probably covered up with makeup and a little patch there as well uh, so yeah, it's very strange that it appears, you know, such a long time after the treatment because now it's been a few weeks uh, rather than um, like immediately after. So that's quite strange. But um, the good news is that I use the vitamin C serum. Uh, I use this um, uh, Oz Naturals, uh, Oz Naturals uh, vitamin C 20% serum. And it actually, you know what, helped me to get rid of that redness overnight. I can still see a tiny bit, you know, like a kind of a patch, you know, a mark left, you know, uh, but uh, the redness is gone, so so it's good, and I think it will probably just heal after a while and disappear eventually. Um, so yes, but uh, when, when it comes to redness, unfortunately, one session for my nose, which gets really, really red, uh, one session did literally nothing. <laughs> on my face, sorry, on my cheeks, uh, the redness definitely definitely have subs has subsided i can noticeably see it but my nose is just as red as always because we went skiing and basically we took pictures and stuff and my nose just looked so red and i hated it <laughs> so i'll have to basically go for more treatments and see if um if they help me resolve my my redness issue that's it <laughs> okay i hope you enjoyed watching this please uh, give me a thumbs up if you did and um uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of of me talking about anti-aging and just general beauty things subscribe to my channel and i hope i'll see you soon bye